Rated M for Mature. Developed by Maxis and published by EA, The Sims Bustin' Out was released on December 16th, 2003 for the PS2, the Xbox, the GameCube, also the Game Boy Advance, and the N-Gage. Oh, the N-Gage. I had one of those growing up. Did you really? No, I didn't. Oh my god, I want one. I still look at them on eBay every six months. I thought you had one. Uh, but that's right, this is a Saves Together quick save. I, I, I need a much better intro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. I always start with the developing, but I don't think I like that anymore. Oh, and you know I like what? It. If there's a time for change, the time is now, because this is episode 100. Wow. We did it. We made it. And Can you, you insert the a like sound a, effect of children yay! cheering? That, there's that one stock sound effect of children going, yay! Yeah, that I can one. probably find that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm talking about. You know how you know we're a little bit loco? Episode 100. I do know that. Of Saves Together is The Sims Busting Out, a 21-year-old video game. That's so crazy of us. Like That's so us? That's so crazy. I put the shoe on my head. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I put it on my head. Dude, that's the best part of Coco. I would like to rewatch Coco. I would rewatch Coco, too. I think I cried. That movie has a very sad ending, but in a good way. In a good way. You I know? like it. I think. Did you cry? I don't remember. Probably not. Yeah, I don't cry. You're too cool for that. You know, you only cried at um, Evangelion <laughs> and Yakuza. And Yakuza. Okay, well. <laughs> the two saddest things. I probably I mean, I cry like when I see like even just like a dead animal on the street. Yeah. You know, I think we all have different things that so, uh, trigger our tear. Ducts. And that animal could have been racist for all I know, but it still makes me cry. Questionable joke. <laughs> Is it? Yes. <laughs> Why? I because I just don't like the idea. I mean, animals racist animals. They can be Aren't racist. They, isn't their nature racist? Because I don't, I don't like. It's where not this nurture. Is going. Because no, they like dog sees cat and says fuck you. Oh, I thought you meant the fact that some dogs and cats are <laughs> actually to human. Yes, I've seen it happen in person. That's not what I'm talking about. That is some not dogs funny. and cats like have like gender discrimination. They problems. can be bigoted. That's for sure. Animals can be bigoted. But I just mean <laughs> by nature, bird sees seed and says, screw you. I'm going to eat that. Now, seeds aren't animals. Okay. But yeah. Bird? Okay, I don't you know. You know what we should do? Because this is episode 100, it's special. We should celebrate. Okay. And we should celebrate by doing, let's, throughout the episode, let's throw in clips from some of our favorite past episodes, okay? Grace, could you pull up a 100-sided die? Okay. Go to Google and just type slash roll 1D100. I don't think you have to do the slash. One. <laughs> one I don't D know why you said 100. that. Slash. Why did you say there slash? Click roll a die, and then you click go, and then I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. All right. It oh, stopped on its own. I meant click start. But oh, you oh, know what? No, nope, there okay, we go. Okay, here we go. And stop. 80. Could you please pull up a list <laughs> of what, I, what is episode 80? Okay. And then we will... We will just go and we'll play some clips that we love from that episode. Wow, that's really great. I find um, Saves Together. If, so if you also would like to look at the list of all the episodes, go to SavesTogether.club. <laughs> oh, is that a better way to do it? <laughs> I just, you know. And SavesTogether.club will provide you links to all sorts of wares. Okay, wares 80 and places. is from Grounded. Oh, all right. Well, here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. My favorite part, of I like being the little guy. In I a hate big spiders. World. spiders. Spiders scare me. Arachnophobia slider. That's cool. You know, I think you should play it like this. We have the best way to play this game, and it's called go into the settings and make sure that you don't lose your loot when you die. That's the ideal I way to play I hope they don't grounded. patch a, a lot of the things we complained about in like within three days of this episode no, coming out. No, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't change the <laughs> game after we decided we didn't like it. That would be crazy. Oh, that was a great clip. Wow, great yeah. clip, Grace. Great Thanks clip. Thanks for playing that, Grace. Uh, so we'll, we'll revisit other episodes throughout, throughout this very special episode 100. <sighs> terrible bit. This is a good bit. Okay. Give, it a, give it a chance. All right. And we'll then we try. can reference this bit on episode 200. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's true. We where we play a bit of us acting, I mean playing a bit. This is a classic bit in general, the bit within the bit. The clip within the clip within the clip. Whoa. Remember that um, movie? 
Yes. Are you thinking about Bo the Burnham's inside? Because that was oh. a funny bit when he reacts to him reacting to him. Oh, reacting. that's good, though. That is good. I was thinking <laughs> of the top bit. is still spinning like Tenet. In an Inception? Or, yeah, Inception. Tenet. Sorry, Inception's backwards. Tenet is dreaming. No, Inception's <laughs> sleeping. Yeah. Tenet is dreaming. Speaking of dreaming, boy, were we dreaming when we thought games back 20 years ago were good? Let's find out when we talk about The Sims busting out. I think games these days, they're bad, and only old games are good. I feel almost the opposite. Me too. That's so crazy. Um, okay. G- uh, genre gameplay explain. What? I thought you were going to say Jughead. Why would I say I Jughead? I don't know. I just thought. I don't even like Jughead. I tried to uh, when ju- uh, Afterlife with Archie I got into for a little bit, but I don't know. Oh, I used to read the Archie comics all the time. Whenever we went to the grocery store, I'd pick up an Archie comic. Do they still sell them at the grocery store? Yes. Really? Uh, if, if the grocery store has comics, for sure, it will have that. It will also have a Sonic comic, and it will have, like, some random Superman. Dude, I didn't know they had Sonic comics. I would have been reading that. If, I don't think they had that when I was a kid. Oh, they did. Okay, maybe I just wasn't a hey, Sonic head. I was an Archie we head. Got, we're going to still we're gonna still tangent. This is a quick save, yet we're tangenting a lot. Okay. Genre. Sonic? No. Oh. I, I'm tangenting. Oh, oh my Sonic bad. <laughs> and Chili Dogs. Those are 100% lore true to Sonic, right? Like a character I, trait of Sonic is Chili Dogs. Yes? I don't know. Wait, really? Let me look it up. No, no, no. You don't have to look it up. I'm telling you it is, but okay. you actually don't. So what game is it from then, man? Okay. So we got in a fight. <laughs> I, so way, I, I referenced Chili Dogs and, and in relation to Sonic. And uh, somebody at work was like, oh, because of that clip? And I was like no just because of like sonic he just likes them and then i was shown this clip of like who was it it was uh something for the escapist back in the day they did like live action gritty sonic uh uh, uh, super smash brothers and there's a clip where there's a sonic in a wheelchair and i don't know what's going on but he just says hilarious chili dog time and then they're handing him the sloppy chili dog they're on a photo shoot they're on a seamless um what so so this person thought I was referencing this reference to Sonic liking chili dogs, but was a step was like, that's not part of his lore. That's from this. I was like, no, that's just Sonic. He likes chili dogs. So you really don't. I thought this was like well known. I need all the Sonic heads to go ahead and write in to save the other pot at Gmail. Give me a second. OK, so. So what, what I was going to say is this has been something since like 93. Like this is from like the show and like the comics. I understand it's not in the first game, but whatever they're in the games yeah they're While in everything the chili dog did not make an actual appearance in sonic advance 3 the japanese strategy guide mentions that sonic indeed loves chili dogs in sonic unleashed chili dogs appear as additional content in this game it is mentioned <laughs> that sonic loves chili dogs and that they are his favorite food where is it originally where where was this lore created the comics or the show sounds like the game the first game was in the no it, what do you you're mean in the now? game appearances area in the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog television series, chili dogs are a prominent food product served on Mobius. This cartoon was the first piece of media to establish them as Sonic's favorite food. So can you and give me throughout the... its run, he and Tails were seldom seen eating anything else. Can you give me the, the time, look like. the date on Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog? That's like um, 93, I feel. 90, yeah, wow. Yeah. How so, do you know so the dates So Sonic and chili like dogs that? are almost... That is the weirdest congru- thing Incongruous. What's the word? What does that word mean? I just said it, but I have no clue what that means. Um, incongruous means like it's like the opposite of what you're trying to say. Okay, well they're congruous, they're sure. acongruous, uh, they're pro congruous. Anyways, it's been a long time, and Sonic likes chili dogs. Let's talk Sonic about the Sonic likes chili dogs. Okay, I'm surprised you didn't know. I thought you were a gamer, but I, you know, Sonic was not like my favorite the only thing i, I lo- and don't don't I say don't that think, like it's my favorite don't you dare accuse me like that i don't think that chili dogs make an appearance in adventure i was gonna see if they make an appearance in the one sonic game no I they're not play. an adventure see that's why i didn't know that this is actually why i didn't know not- how did we how did we get here comics you would you would read sonic comics the reason we got here is because you said genre and i thought you were gonna say jughead oh let's talk about the genre <laughs> Yeah. Of The Sims, busting out. Can you explain the game? Yes, it's a game? sim. But it's not. It's like worse Sims. This, uh, the Sims games that are on the console, there's a couple of, and on like the handholds, had goals. So they're a little different. They're not, you, usually they have a mode in which you can just quote unquote free play. But I don't think in this version you can build 
any like walls or anything like i don't think you can build buildings in this one i, I might think, be wrong i think you can we just didn't that's possible but um but back in the day the main i played this quite a bit with and co-op with different friends and we would beat like beat the whole story which you you complete by doing missions at each of these different lots so it's like you go to dudley's trailer and it's like throw a party you start in like a bad um, house and then you, you yeah. kind of level up your house right that's and then depending the... on what jobs you get you can go to different lots so it's like if you level up your you level up the i don't know the star the like acting job then you get to go to like the more the artsy areas so we made it we made it all the way to the art museum before we stopped we stopped very early because craig and also i yeah, did don't not put very the, much... don't pin this on me I did have a realization when we were playing this, and I'm just like, what's the point, you know? Yeah, it, and you could argue <laughs> what's the point for anything. Yes, of so, course, so but whenever, I just meant, what's the, why am I playing this? If we I should have, actually dissect when we feel like, what's the point? Well, it just means I'm not getting anything out of it. True. That's Okay, yeah, there, that's there's what the it means. point. So even if what you're getting out of it is dumb fun. Yeah, that's still more... That's still something. Than nothing. Than nothing. I almost immediately upon realizing what this game was... <laughs> put the controller <laughs> hated <down>. it <laughs> um and there's a bit of a saga to us starting playing because you need a memory card for both players not only that which but the game that never weird. tells you how to play co-op like we had to google it and yeah. i remembered some of it just from how did i figure it out as a kid i don't know it's probably the in game the manual doesn't tell you yeah there's probably we the did not read the manual and back 20 years ago you, you had actually to. had to yeah but uh they should have put some sort of instruction. Anyway, even when we looked it up, it was a little complicated. You do need two memory cards and like. And I had I to start know. you. You start. We were playing on your save. Yeah. And then you have to start. But a then I have to go. In. We have to quit that. And I have to start my own save on the other memory card. The idea is two people would have Sims yeah. at their individual houses and come over, bring their memory cards, bring the memory card over. Here's my character. This is their money. I don't know if they retain any relationships, but they probably retain their job. Yeah. And which it's like, is, so you can keep going. Which I don't hate the concept there. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's Especially like back Crossing. then, that's very cool. But in this day and age, it's almost, I wrote for the end when we assign a score to this. Um, again, it's our experience. It's not like, it's not like a quality judgment. It's a quality of our time or whatever. <laughs> uh, should we do a score we think it would we would have given it 20 years ago? No. Because... We actually, I guess we kind of forgot to mention, I would like to start doing a game that's 20 years old once a year like or more. Like, I want to start playing a couple of older co-op games. Yeah. You know, uh, especially ones we have a history with, like how you played this all the time. Yeah. Some other ones I would love to try again are Shrek 2. Yeah. That is a GameCube co-op game we played a ton of as kids. Um, another one is Legend of Zelda Four Swords, which you need the Game Boys and the Game Link cables. I don't know if this will happen, but this was like no. Tri what about one of the Force funnest Heroes? games? That's the that was the one I wanted to play in. That's 3ds, which I did not try. Okay, when I was younger, but Four Swords was like the game, and that's the one where, unlike any co-op game I've played in my life since, it has the at the end of the every level you can vote for. <laughs> was the least helpful and who was the most helpful and do you i need you to know how much drama this caused <laughs> it's gonna cause it's gonna cause drama now when we me and my brother would just we would always just rate each other the worst and then if you got the worst or like best it, it like you like won at the end of the level like you became dark link or like light link it was great i love that that game we sh i mean i don't know if it'll ever be possible to play it like you did because you need the, i think you need the gamecube to play it like that don't you well, I guess you're that just, game, are you just assigning me a task of buy old stuff that I like? I mean, he you love that task, that's for sure. <laughs> it would be really fun to play it like that. We have the Game Boys. We would just need the link cables and a GameCube and the disc. Wait, is there... You know what? I'm going down a rabbit hole. Let's worry about that when we come to that episode. Okay, sounds but good. But I just... I think... That's a great game. Going forward, I'm it's going to be fun to play old co-op as well. Yeah. But do we want to try to say like, well, back then we maybe think this would have been an A. I think no, because no. I can talk. We can talk about what we did think about it back then. But I can't decide what I would have thought about it back then from Fair. me now because I'm just me now. And it is what it is. You so know? what is the co-op category of The Sims busting out? We played on PS2, by the way. I don't know if we said that. Damage stacker. I wrote... Yeah, I wrote damage stacking, question mark, and then I wrote resource sharing, question mark, and then I wrote supplemental, question mark, and I can't figure it out. I, It is kind of damage stacking because you're doing, 
you're attacking the... I would say resource sharing then. Because you, you share the money. You share money and you share your skill that you're building up to accomplish the goals, right? You share the goal progress. You don't share the skills. What I mean is I'll level up my music skill and that will get us the music... That's what I meant, the goal one progress. Done. And then you'll yes. level up art and you'll unlock the... That's and right. So That's right. I think it is technically resource sharing yeah and i think that makes sense for a game like this kind of like a stardew valley like where you're doing your own thing i mean stardew valley is much better co-op than this yeah. but different though like at the end of the day sims is not a farm sim part of the issues with this game are just the clunkiness of it being older and There's having two. impatience towards like loading screen not just loading screens but like even when you're setting up actions it takes so long it's the performance annoying. is really bad we were playing on a PS2 Slim. I don't know, See, like, you know, just the I, hardware different. I never considered PS2s. performance when I was younger. It which took me I, so which long I, to consider game. I didn't even know that was a thing. I just thought that's how yeah. the game is. You know, as a kid, you don't think about it like, well, it could be, it could run better. It's like you don't know that. You and should. what's interesting is it has to be really bad for me to notice because I, I can kind of get over. Was it, it. Like, bad? It was horrible. Are you sure? Yes. I think I'm so used to the game being like that. That's what I, Maybe. I just don't even think about it. It was just stuttering left and right. Now, it doesn't really matter because you're not doing action Yeah, stuff. wait, it was bad. Yeah, it's, ter- it's very bad. Do you think there's a better way to play that game? Yeah, an emulator with a powerful PC. No, I was just forcing. wondering if the other... Like, the it was Xbox, on GameCube, right? It was also on Xbox and GameCube. Xbox is, I believe, technically the most powerful console that generation. So maybe it, huh. maybe it runs the best there, but... Yeah, it did, like, freeze a lot. Now that yeah. you say that... <laughs> so... I'm remembering. <laughs> two things are acting against it. One is that it's old, and <laughs> two is that the that it has a Got PC em. version. Like like The Sims is a PC thing, so I'm comparing it to a much for me a much better game you, that you didn't even really play. I played a lot of The Sims. Which one? Three. Okay. I played a lot of one and three. Okay. Okay. See, I and played a lot of two. So all these things that the concessions it has to make to be a console game. Yeah. I'm like, well, that's annoying because on PC, you could just do this, this and this. And then also it's an old game before we like before controls were kind of standardized a little bit. And before, you know, it's just so <laughs> it, there's not a lot going for it, unfortunately. And it's not its fault. Type of co-op. We did this one, right? We did not. Oh, this is couch. Yes, right? split okay, screen. Does it, split does screen. it split or does it? Yeah, it splits. It splits. It splits. It splits and it's annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Uh, separate mode or full? It's the full game. Drop in, drop out. I think I can just. It I is just drop have to in, hit, drop like, out. Start. I just have to have a controller plugged in and with a memory card and hit start. Yes. And then it kind a of. A memory works. card with a character created on it. Yeah. Otherwise, not nothing happens. Not just a happens. memory card. Because yeah. if you just have a memory card, nothing happens. Yep. It's not like, oh, make your character now. You need to like start the game, basically. And there's really not a sign. It takes about a, like a 30 seconds to a minute for you to load in, but there's no sign that anything's happening. That's not true. On the top right, it says, oh, Craig is it? on his way. Yeah. Okay. There's well, a dialogue box. That's thing. good. Uh, control scheme. PS2 controllers. Plus memory cards, like we mentioned. So I we, Memory cards aren't a control scheme. I know, but but the fact that you need one. Like, it, like, like required accessories. The, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, not much to say there. It's a PS2 controller. It's basically the same controller, even now. Connect. Mm. Can you imagine? <laughs> I very much want a Connect, uh, because oh, I want to play. I thought you had one. I have a Connect for the Xbox One. I need one for the Xbox 360, because I want to play Happy Action Theater, which actually became Connect Party. It's a whole thing. Wow. Okay. The Connect heads out there. The Connect heads will understand. Yeah. Progression, things to unlock. Yeah, you that's the whole game is unlocking kind of it. the new lots. And then like you meet new characters and there's like new events that happen at each new lot. I think that that part is cool. I like the goal oriented Sims games a lot and I like them a lot as a kid. I played the ones on GBA all the time. <laughs> I want to replay those. Yeah. Can we get those? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> you get them on the on one of our one of our thingies. Forget what that thing's called. We'll buy the cart and put it in the oh, game. Oh yeah, Boy. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sure. That that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Uh, did you, as a child playing this game, 
have fun being like, ooh, we look at this new weird item we can put in our house. The yes. train set, the arcade machine, whatever. Yes. I feel like some of that appeal has worn off over the years. Because no. The Simmers love new mm, items, bro. But these aren't new items is what I'm saying. They're, like, new to, they're new to the gamer. What do you mean? Like the stuff that we, when we went to the... Um, I guess Animal Crossing is just so perfect for me <laughs> that... that because there I am excited, like, ooh, a Tanuki statue. Ooh, I got a new lamp. Whatever. I like all that in Animal Crossing. It was not giving me that feeling in this game. Like, we got that train set and put it in our living room, <laughs> and I was like, great. I mean, that's a classic sim thing, is, like, being excited about the new items, like, especially in the new expansion packs, or, like, unlocking Well, that, sure, items. when it's actually... New, I guess I just meant... I just... I don't know. It wasn't... You just didn't like the train set. It's fine. Maybe it was just the train set I didn't like. We didn't play far enough really to see any like really cool items. I mean, I love like hot tubs. But what is tubs, really cool items? Hot tubs where you can woohoo. But we already beds, have had, we've done that in PC. The love beds. Okay, but I, you have to consider this game separate from that. Okay. It's That's hard, your problem. Because the PC one's very good. Yeah. Well, mm, yeah. Depends. But yes, it's iconic. Shared loot or XP? Experience. You think anyone's listening to this doesn't know what XP is? This um, is a podcast you have to... You really are part of the club if you're... It's a podcast for the gamers. Okay, the, the walls have water, hot water running through them now here in the Saves Together treehouse, so... The radiator's kicked on. I'm sorry. I don't feel like stopping. Yeah, and you might be able to cut some of it out with the room. I'm tone, too so. excited to talk about The Sims busting out. I'm, I'm busting. I'm busting out of I'm these. Busting out of my pants. Pants to, to talk about Sims busting out. Yeah. Share busting out. XP. Why is it called that? Because they're, because they're like they're busting growing. out of their mom's house. Nice. Yeah. I busted out of my mom's. So you're house. saying shared loot or XP? Shared loot or XP? I would say. And then I was you saying share the, um, you share the money, that counts, right? The simoleons, please. And then you. Like share the gold progress, which is sort of progression. But yeah, you do you do share all that. Do you know what the simoleon symbol actually means? Because it's like typable on a keyboard, so they obviously just mm. adopted it from something else. I don't know. But I'm gonna think. Money. I think it's a math symbol. Okay. You know, like it means like multiply times ten every time. Some you know. Yeah. Like the. Sure. That could be. That could be it. I love when we muse on things we could look up, and instead we just no. Make it's up more an fun than not. <laughs> yeah. I love um, spreading this information. Shared. You're also sharing furniture. Like I'm. Well, I guess if we share the simoleons, we're sharing the. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say you're sharing like roommates. I'll buy the PS2. You buy the TV stand. You know. That's too true. But this is we're just, just like real sharing life. Sharing all our money. It's almost like simulating like life. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, friendly fire. Uh no, I would say no. You could hurt each other emotionally. Like if you like choose to slap and then like oh I guess like you could so. hurt your friend but, but I guess that's that just hurts the relationship doesn't actually hurt the sim true you could probably start a fire on purpose yeah yeah you could you could do that you could yeah. find a way to, maybe to we be, change to inconvenience your friend for sure do we change the title of this category instead of asking if there's friendly fire which is important in some games but maybe it should be what are the ways you can hurt each other I mean I think friendly fire kind of encompasses that idea fair enough. You know, that's just the title, but we can always talk about other ways to hurt each other. I would love to. Okay. Interruptive actions. Yes. Seven million. There are so many. The game is an interruptive. It is <laughs> all interruptive actions. Like, I think the biggest problem that we came with that we found was the bathroom. And this is a classic Sim issue in the first place. You have to make sure there's enough bathrooms for the Sims you have in your house. And because we have roommates and because... We also exist in the house. And also we had to buy extra beds, extra bedrooms. So it was just like a mess. It's like someone always had to use the bathroom and someone else had to come in and then you'd stop pissing or you'd stop taking a shower. And then like you miss your bus for work. It was a, it's a nightmare. That's the whole day is an interrupt. But but also like menus like, oh, hold on. I got to buy this. Oh, yeah, oh, that's true. I was trying to pick this and then uh, holding the fast forward button. Yeah. And then um you have to just, fast forward together to get the fastest fast forward, but you can just fast forward once and then you'd still fast forward if the other person doesn't want to fast forward. Yeah, <laughs> which I don't know how you handle it. I'm not even saying they did anything wrong. It's just a game that's really not good for me. 
for split screen. One of the other Sims games on console that I played with a friend, I think it was Sims. I want to say Sims 2 on Herbs? console. Sims in the city. I also played Sims Herbs, but Sims 2 on console I liked a lot better because instead of controlling your Sim by clicking where they go, which is the normal way to play Sims on computer, I think they did you can something. You just walk around? Yes. Ooh. And it was a game changer for us. When That's we, better. We should maybe try. I mean, I don't know if we want to after this experience, but I think Sims I, 2 I'm was a lot better. Opposed to it. I would, I would try it and we could just maybe do a very quick... I mean, I would love to revisit it because it's like, once again, another very nostalgic co-op game from my childhood. So yeah. it'd be fun to try. The other one I played a lot co-op was Sims Castaway on Wii. Oh, no, I didn't play on co-op. My friend just came over and watched me. I yeah. forgot. <laughs> that's how I did a lot of my childhood gaming of like, yeah, pass the controller back and forth, which is literally why we reference it in our. Oh, no, intro. I never passed the controller. I would just they just watch because I because this was a quick save. I didn't do the whole intro. Should I do the. No, Welcome I think everybody that's okay. To save okay. I think that's okay. It's a podcast about playing games. I mean, together. the quick save we we just don't do that. Yeah. Well, we do. I usually spin oh. into it later. It's like a whole gimmick. I oh. don't. Oh, you changed it up this time. I didn't do it at all because it, it just doesn't feel right. But it was you know, the special 100th episode. That's that's why. That's why. That's why. Okay. That's okay. Uh, there are just way too many interruptive actions. Even Sims in general has pop ups that come up randomly. Like you're getting uh, a phone call. I mean, that's just how phones work. But like. This like a, like a pop up would would come up and be like, I I don't know. It was rough. Um, I think this is a sleepover game. I don't think it's a pizza party game, but I do think this is sleepover game energy. Yeah, for sure. Difficulty of the co op. Does it help you overcome the challenge, or is it the challenge? I think it it is the challenge in this case. Well, <laughs> even though you have someone else to do the goals, because. It's just like I think so it interruptive and technically so in your way. Overcomes it's to help you over like it. You can get the. I mean, yeah, I know technically that's what it's supposed to do. But yeah, but you're right. It's, it's, it's kind of just annoying. Kind of makes it not fun to play for the other. You know, I would say honestly both. Then in this case, yeah. I I almost think just like the game's kind of interesting. Just play solo. If you're a Sims person and you have a PS2, if you want to try and you the, like uh, playing old games, console Sims. Yeah. This game at this point, you know those time things where it's like this game is as just as old as we were when we were watching this movie, you know? Yeah. This game is so old, it'd be like if we reviewed You know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that sounds Intensity. Um, not Zero. intense at all. <laughs> I think Sims games in general are made to be chill and to like relax with and to be art creative with yeah. you know and, and that's I, what i, I like, like about them yeah and too. i think it's why i don't need objectives personally yeah i, I don't, don't know. i uh i'm just gonna i just feel like becoming there wasn't there a ghostbusters expansion there was for three i think uh, not not officially ghostbusters but you could be a you know ghost sucker um, it wasn't ghostbusters it was there was like the the Paranormal jobs or and you could yeah one of the jobs was you could be like a Ghost hunter. Ghost hunter, and you would go to people's houses and and suck the ghosts up. That's yeah. Cool. Luigi's Mansion expansion. Yes. What oh. about a Luigi's Mansion Sims where you are controlling a Mario character, or like maybe you make a custom toad and you live in this haunted mansion and you just do Sims stuff? Okay. There's something sure. there. Yeah. There's you something know, we'll there. workshop it. We'll circle back to we'll that. Circle. Competitiveness of the co op. Uh, I would say none at all. Yeah, Unless I could see really a wanted to. bit if you're insane and you're like, no. you didn't make enough money today, so, <laughs> so I'm mad at so you and I'm playing. the winner. I'm the winner. But it's so annoying to play this game that I don't care. Yeah. Strategy or tactics? Yeah, uh, you get that job and uh, level up that and I'll get this job and level up this. You go read books for five minutes. Can you make dinner and then... Can you it's make like, dinner for everyone and then I'll clean up the plates? Strategy of real life. Like when you have a roommate, it's like, hey, I need you to do the bathroom. You go take a shower while I make dinner and then we'll switch. And then I'll get a job as a movie star and you get a job as a bank robber. Exactly. <laughs> I forgot that was literally one of the jobs, especially in the early games, was the criminal track. That's I don't, good. I think it's still in there. Took it out. I don't it's know. It's still in there. That's part of Sims. That is part of Sims. I wish you could be the sad clown. You know, one of the things that, uh, that'd be funny. One of the things that Simmers are still angry about in like modern Sims and Sims 4 is that they never brought back the burglar to the game. Oh, he won't come steal your stuff. No. 
I mean, people want that burglar in the game. I do too. He's kind of, you know. He's kind of, you know what I'm saying? Can you woohoo the burglar? Um, that I don't know. You can woohoo death in the new game. Yes. Yeah, that's great. That's good. It's hard though because you have to get him to stick around for long enough. Trap him in usually, a wall. he'll come and he'll take care of the dead corpse, and then he'll like read a book. But it's like, wait, does he actually read? Like, he sometimes he, he reads a book. He hangs around the lot and he'll just do random okay, shit. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> so sometimes he sits down and reads a book, or he'll like take a piece of cake. That's cool. I will say talking about this makes me want to play Sims, but that's a road. I keep going down that. I used to go down that road more often. You should. I th- just you just Back gotta set down. boundaries, set timers. It's all about boundaries. But see, here's the problem with going back, getting back into Sims. is like you have to download so much stuff, you know? It's, and I uh, just, do I need to do that with my life? No, I no. don't really need to. So all that setup isn't worth the payout at the end of the day, which is like, I'm just kind of disappointed with how these expansions don't work together. That is very strange. So. Hopefully, Life as You is, what's that What's game? the other one, too? There's oh, there's another one? There's two of them. Oh. Life as You, and then there's like... A different one. I can't remember the name. Life with you. Par- like it's like P- starts with a P. Parasocial. Uh, maybe. <laughs> or now, yeah. Okay. Sounds Anyways, right. Uh, communication. This is where we uh, we like to repeat things we said a lot. Um, I don't really remember if okay, I here, said anything. A lot. Yeah, here's one. Turn the radio off. The song's annoying me. Yeah, turn the TV off. Turn the radio off. That, that said, the music in this game is so good. Yeah, I the really like the I music. Need oh, I need to pee. I need to pee. Do not use the shower. I have to pee. Hey, do not, do not, do not. The Retro Sims game soundtracks were great. And this one is is also great. Yeah. Oh, we should try Sims the Herbs. We should go through a whole rabbit hole playing all the... The fun thing about the Sims the Herbs one is um, you have to change Please, your outfit. Please, it's not the Sims the Herbs. It's Herbs, Sims in the City. Okay. And I think it's Herbs with a Z. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know that. But the whole thing about that one is you join different, like, posses i don't know if that's what they're called but then to fit in with each posse and it's do gangs. their missions it's in the city so obviously they called it gangs i don't think they did That'd for that be reason wild if they did um you had to change your outfit to fit in with them so each one had a very specific <laughs> style we're the dance gang we're the and punks. our hats are crooked we're the punks we we're have the big one, we're the like Liberty athletic spikes. ones we're the like sexy ones oh i love the outfits in the sims the herbs i'm you know i think we should get it even if we don't do an episode or play that much i, I want you to play it and i want to know what you think about it yeah you now I have homework it. replay oh, no. all these console sims i want to replay all the gba sims games too those were crazy i love those things man uh another thing we said a lot was please let go of fast forward <laughs> yeah yeah and then one thing i said was uh i'm gonna put the controller down and go make toast you can keep playing yeah, that's how I knew it was time to end. <laughs> and it was pretty quick in there. Yeah, we only and played a couple And I don't times. feel I missed anything by stopping playing. Yeah. I got everything I was going to get out of that one. And so, we come to the rating. Unless, do you have anything else you'd like to add? I don't think so. I do like the quirkiness of the characters in this one. Like, they all have a lot of personality. And that's that's cool. So, other than that. But we didn't meet a ton of them either. Yeah. You know, like Mimi and Dudley. Those are the first couple, and your mom, who's and just And your brother, mom. Is, don't you have, like, an annoying brother, or is that Dudley? No, he's your cousin? Don't, isn't, there's a guy that we were supposed to go back to high five. Yeah, it is Dudley, but I don't or remember I if he's related like, to you. I don't think he is, because I'm pretty sure you can, like, phone him. I think the mission, well, I mean, this is a fantasy simulator, right? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's a mod you have to install. Um, listen, I'm going to... I the, want to the, hear rating, your score first. the rating that we are giving is our experience. So I don't want none of y'all to come after me for this. That's a that's a D plus. And the only reason it's a plus is because I like the music. So I was fine to just sit there and watch you play and leave my controller on the table. Oh, okay. I'm okay with that score. Yeah. I it's, didn't have a score in mind, but I figured I'd just go with what you wanted it's just because twenty years on plus it's not a PC Sims. So for me, it is nothing. There's nothing here for me. But it functions performance ain't great and i don't think it's question mark it does function though right like it does as advertised just i don't want to do that it's an advertisement for sour milk and so you get well yeah that is that is what it is that makes sense right that's a good Uh, metaphor yeah yeah no not really i was (laughs) trying to make it work for you but i i can't that's okay because at the end of the day we're all just 
Sims being controlled by God? Let's cool. head into the closing segment. Okay. And there, I want to ask your ideas about something. Okay. See you there. Grace, they announced a Sims movie. Wow. From the Barbie people. Which, wow. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That's pretty like spot on for... Who's directing it? Do we know? Uh, I don't think we know. Okay. Who's starring in it? Do we know? Margot. Oh, she's in it. I believe Margot so. Robbie. She's, she's going to be... Sam. She's going to be Bella... Bella Swan. Swan. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's the... Someone went in... See, one of the things I used to love to do with Sims is like make your favorite characters from stuff. Yeah. Go and make the Twilight. Did I make Twilight at some point? Oh, probably. Oh, for sure. Yeah. What was your like go-to... Like, did you have a thing you always did? I always did like basement cool basement hangout when because i think three had basements yeah i i don't i don't i i don't know i don't know I don't it basically know always it. reverted to like one cool basement bachelor pad i like, think for me i was always playing out just like romantic dramas it would always become really dramatic romantically my sims would do terrible things to each other they were the <laughs> bad people i was living out my worst impulses through the sims basically which is good. It's a good practice instead of doing it in, in real yeah. life, you know? You can be evil in the sense. You it's suck fine. you you uh suck up the ladder in the pool and leave them in the pool forever. You ever do that? Yeah, one? of course. That's and good. I would also make human zoos. Cool. Mm. I think the Sims movie is a very good idea and they need to really commit to the bit. They need to go hard on Sims stuff, right? Yeah. Like I know how popular do you think the Sims is. I know it's popular. But like, how popular? Does it have global uh, appeal? Does it have like m movie appeal? Like the way like, I think everyone knows it in the way they know Barbie, but maybe a little less so. Yeah. So I think it has has some appeal. Sure. I am intrigued. I, I don't think it has a... any less appeal than Sonic the Hedgehog. No, I well see. I think you're wrong because I think Mario. every child ever knows Sonic. Somehow I think they children know, Sonic. know Sims. Really? Do you uh... have a little kid at home? Ask them. What's a Sim? Okay. I will. Thank you. I'm going to ask my child. <laughs> um, little Johnny. So where... This is the part of the episode. Oh, we didn't do any other clips. Grace, please roll a die. I'm going to need you to roll a... phone for the last part, too. I'm going to need you to roll... Okay. I'm going to need you to roll a 100-sided die, and we're going to play a clip from one of our favorite old episodes. Okay, I'm rolling the die. Good. You have to tell me when to stop, right? Stop. 67. Oh, I love that episode. I am so glad that we got 67. So let's go ahead and find out what is episode 67. We'll reveal to the people. We obviously know. I mean, I was just saying you could get to the link of episodes a lot faster this way. Now it's taking oh. longer. So if you just click the the Spotify button. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know. Head over to savestogether.club where you can see all of our episodes, including 67, which, as we all know... This is slower than when I was doing it on Fine, SoundCloud. all right, I'm sorry. 67, as I we all know, was wrong. one of my favorites. Unrailed. Unrailed. Craigie Let's play the clips. Hands. Choo choo! Oh, man, this game's really good. This game's good, except Craigie got stupid hands. Oh, wait. Now we're playing it more, and it's getting hard. Mm. Mm. Let's I don't want to play it no more. Oh. Great clip. That was one of <laughs> that was my really great. Since we forgot to do other episodes throughout the episode, no. why don't we go ahead and roll the die? I'm being forced into a bad bit. Everybody, save me. Saves together, not just saves me. Seventy six. Why are we getting all high rolls? All right. I don't know. Seventy six. That's a good one. That connect tank was connect tank. Hey. Oh wait, play the let's Connect play those this tanks. clip. Oh. Um put the bullet on the on the conveyor belt. Okay, I will. Good, we launched <laughs> the right bullet. This game is This game's okay. This game's fine. Just okay though. <laughs> this, <laughs> Give it a shot. You should try it, I think. It's kind of interesting. If you want. But you don't have to. It's I wonder not. why we called this episode 1776. That's what I like about our titles. This well, we're out of the bit now. We're out of the clip. We're back to real life. 
salary of co-op games. Um, 1776, we... I mean, that's when the, the nation was formed, so it could mean anything. I think, it, I think I just didn't know when the nation was formed, possibly. Maybe. And you were like, yeah, 1994? I didn't say that. When I was born? Um, okay, Doc. Uh, what I like about our titles is, for the most part, I couldn't tell you what they mean. Right. And so you get to listen and find out. Was it a big theme? Was it just one funny thing that was said? Is it not related at all? You'll find out once you listen to the episode. Yeah, Can't wait to find out what like the, the title back... of this one is. Oh, it's going to be... Um, Terrible Clip Show. <laughs> the Clip Show episode. <laughs> the Clip Show episode. And no, because then clip people show, think it's a clip show. Let's do one more. Let's revisit one of my favorite episodes. Which is... 50, 57. We, I, can we do an old one after also? 57. Boy, do you remember that episode? Genshin Impact. I do. Let's let's roll the beautiful clip footage. I got him. The best one. Five stars. Whoa, this one's kind of hot. Uh, Sherry. Um, she got a bow. This one's lightning. This one has lightning vibes. Okay, let's do co-op. Wait, how do you do that? Oh, you got oh, uh, just play for fifteen hours. Oh, I'm good. Uh, okay, fine. I'm gonna restart my I game five it. times so I can get the best roll on my first free roll. Okay, finally, it's co-op time. This is gonna be epic. Wait, the co-op's done already? <laughs> that that was it? Oh. That was it. Uh, it. Oh, can you click that for me? No, I can't. And that was Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact. Wow. Ah, the memories. 100 beautiful memories with I you love it. and all of you listeners. All of our co-op game, we've played so many co-op games. Too many, maybe you no, would say. No, there's not enough. Well, when people, when I see people on Reddit go, there's co-op games or there's no co-op games anymore. I think, I think to myself, should I reply and say, <laughs> check out Saves check Together. Check out Saves Together dot com. And I'm like, don't do that. That's obnoxious. That but, is obnoxious, but I do feel but that they way. They need it. They need it. Now, I, I, the sentiment is sound. It's not like a common thing anymore, especially split screen. You basically have to make it for that from the beginning. Yeah. Like you have to decide, I want to make a split screen co-op game. But I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Because, boy, I don't need to play any like ham-fisted co-op. Like, oh, we put co-op in this. Why? Right. You know? You know, we should we should design it from be, to be co-op from the start. Yeah. Uh, so there is probably per capita less co-op games these days. But, but, you know, it's quality over quantity. Quality over quantity and intention... Like, it's just, I don't know. And there's still plenty. I don't know why we, like, there's so many. We, you should see the list I have of games we could play, yep. let alone the list of games we've played and not done episodes on. You know, that said, I don't know what the big, there isn't a big one I'm looking forward to. Monster Hunter, I guess, but that's 2025. Will we make it to episode 200? You think? This took a while. Because we yes, slowed down, took, right? We used took, to do every, um, we, since the beginning of this. Which we did was fortnightly. What year? Uh, 2017. That's crazy. I think. Why don't you? You know what? Let's play a clip from episode one, just to re, just to reminisce. Okay. I uh, was gonna take me a bit. Go go to go to SoundCloud. Oh, now he wants me to go to SoundCloud. <laughs> Interesting. Terraria, I think, though, right? Pretty sure. Maybe. Almost. 100% sure. 100 episodes, 100% sure. I love Infinite Scroll. That's Look, is cool. th That's something about me that I want everyone listening to know. I love so Infinite Scroll. Episode one is Scroll. Diablo 3, episode oh, 2 is Terraria. Oh, okay. Here's a clip from our first episode. Hi, Gaga. I'm a baby. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I like a Diablo 3, <laughs> and I like Milkies, and... I want this to be cut so bad, but you know what? <laughs> Uh, guys, I don't edit. It's episode one. It's a joke. Okay, wait. I, I got a better. Wait, 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 wait. Better I, idea. Yeah. Episode one. Dun 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 Oh, because of Star Wars episode, episode one. one. Oh, that's good. What did that's you think good. I was doing? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I just let you. I just let you, let you cook. You know. Rusa, please look how Jaja Binks. Mmm. Mmm. That's your best Anakin a... impression. 
I'm a little boy, and as soon as I'm going to be a big boy. boy, and I'm going to marry and screw that lady. Oh, okay. You know what? Let's and end it's it weird. there. Let's it's end weird it there. that I'm like nine now, and soon I'll be like 25, and she won't have aged at all. Thanks for listening to Stays Together 100 episodes, everyone. If you made it this far, I'm sorry, and <laughs> thank you. You know, <laughs> Thank you, sincerely. But also, what are you still doing here? I like you, You're weird. What do you, you mean? You're Don't right. question them. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Legit. What are you still doing? Get out of here. This is our private <laughs> this time. Is private time. Or I make noises into a microphone this isn't to make for myself you. laugh. This is, this for is me. not for you. All right. Maybe. Yeah. You know what? Going you know forward, what? this is more of Fuck a voyeur you. thing. If you're listening, you're weird. No. Why? And I you? like it. This is, I only like freaks. This like, is a, becoming like the sadist podcast where we just insult our listeners yeah, and they pay get me off ten dollars and i'll tell you i'll step on your heel I'll step on your ear balls Split. your ear holes your ear lobes i'll you someone's stu- into that only stupid idiots would listen to the next episode <laughs> only big dumb dumb and only really really big losers would w- listen to all 100 episodes in a row yeah non-stop. i bet you can't even do that i, I bet, bet you, you i bet you wouldn't you couldn't wouldn't shouldn't and won't yeah you won't you won't you won't. <laughs> you'd be such a dork if you if you did that. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't most... even kiss you on the mouth if you did that. I, I would never. I wouldn't even <laughs> kiss the bottom of your feet with my tongue. Ew! Stop. <laughs> don't like this. I you got to like get it. every fetish we can. Also, I'm an anthropomorphized animal. I wouldn't feed you and then cook you in my f- oven. I wouldn't inflate. <laughs> I wouldn't pop you like a balloon. I wouldn't cover yourself in latex and rub you like a nurse. I wouldn't get stuck. Help me. <laughs> Help me, stepson. I wouldn't get stuck under my couch. <laughs> Reaching for the light plug. I wouldn't be on the balcony in France for everyone to see. What? Wow, shocking. Why France? I don't know. There's no balconies here. Really. The Francophiles out there. And I feel like the French are like the loves. Like they're the lovers. Are they because... I don't know if that's true, but that's what media... Like Pepe Le Pew, you know? The media wants you to think that the French know Big how to France. love you. But do they? I, we must conduct a study and find ourselves if you're French, a Frenchman. Write in and tell me, do you love... Do, do you, you love, love love? How do you love? What are your methods? If you're French and Give you speak English... Give us five tips. I dare you. For episode 169. If you really love things, go back and listen to every episode. Prove um, it, France. What do you think the... Like, how do you know you're in love? <laughs> um you get twitter pated no that's no I that's see, like a fling right that's kind of like i think crush. people are too black and white about love and yeah. i think love encompasses it's a spectrum yeah and i think you sure. can be in love really easily and it's you okay you can be in romantic love you can be in friendship love you can what be is in, romantic love romantic love is like i want to slop saliva and that's sexual attraction oh wait that's sexual love okay romantic love is i will fill your water and put an ice cube in it Oh no, but I would do that for my friends. So my romantic love. Ice cube? No, I'll just fill someone's water, but not. This is you for me. Well, maybe I do romantically love my friends sometimes too. I think that's yeah. Well, what does it mean to be romantic? That's the thing I don't understand. I feel like that's made up. I think that's romance. Well, but I think there's romance in everything. Yeah, I think there's romance in. I think there's romance wiping your controller hand. Like I, I make the controller sweaty, so then I try to wipe the sweat off when I hand it to you. To me, that's That's just like love. You're. A considerate person, and if you don't do that, like you're gonna... that's slop hog behavior, and you shouldn't be here. I think the idea of romance and romantic love is like something we don't need going forward. I think well, we can consider love to be a lot more like just caring about someone. What's wrong with that? Why did it have to be romantic to like care about somebody? But I think that there's care a, about their I think feelings. I do think health. there's romance in everything. I think there's romance in looking okay, perfect. at trees. So it's either nothing's romantic or everything's romantic. I'm okay with that. And but the amount of romance you put into and take out of something is yours to decide. So, so romance is sort of like a subjective. Well, it's, there's a reason. It's like rom- It's like a romancer, like a necromancer. <laughs> I'm a romancer. I'm yeah, let's doing pull, a let's lot. Let's pull us of, back to video games. <laughs> yeah, let's let's. We need to clarify this for the listeners. Necromancy and romance, they're not that far and apart. Tech romancy and like there's you know Tech romancy? That's where you're like mancing tech. Is that a thing? Yeah. Tech romancer on the Dreamcast. Is that a game? Yeah. Oh, I thought you came up with something that I could use. No. Thanks a lot. Here, I'll give you one. <laughs> uh Sex Romancer. 
It's someone who That's, that feels controls like something sex. in a porn about computers. I mean, no, really about about, about fan, a fantasy porn. That's yeah, I'm sorry. I was thinking about you? tech. Romancer. I'm a big, hard stud rogue. What are you? I'm a sex romancer. I like that this really went to an explicit place for absolutely no reason. The Sims goes. The Sims woohoos. The this Sims, is perfect. Actually, it's true. And The Sims is very much sold on sex in a way in like a in like a like a wink. And you might miss it, but guess what? Every new expansion, there is a new way to woohoo. Yes. Is there really? Yes, you can woohoo in a bush. Everyone points. You can woohoo in a bush. Everyone wants to know what's the new way to woohoo in in the new expansion. Oh, we have a barn. Yes, you can woohoo in the barn. Can you woohoo on the horse? I don't know. So. This sounds like a Dr. Seuss thing. <laughs> okay, can woo-hoo. you woohoo on a horse? You can woohoo in the course. You can, of course, you can woohoo on the horse. Okay, woohoo on a horse feels like animal abuse. Don't do that, right? Well, well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. <laughs> if the horse doesn't know what's going on, the horse because the might horse not is care. used to you bouncing up and down, your booty is bouncing on the horse. I will say I looked up this for writing reasons, not sexing on horse. Uh, riding a horse to two people is generally not advised because it's bad for the horse, and the horse can't really, unless the other person's very small, like a child size, you really shouldn't have two people on a horse. So, if you're a horser, write in and tell us: Have you ever two horse rode, two two human horsed? Because in the movies, don't they do it a lot? Because yeah, but, it's like, but I, you gotta help me. I mean, it's shouldn't. usually in situations where you're helping the person. Like that's a little hurt. different, right? If you're forced to like carry your hobbit away from the scene of that. Uh, of- Remember when <laughs> Legolas does that flip up hip trick? Like he grabs the horse by the neck. That was so hot. Swings that was around so hot. it. His arm is definitely was that cg, CG? <laughs> yes it, it bends backwards like it's made out of silly string that's why i love I, th- I think that's where we all fall in love with legolas as children we're like <gasps> you know what i gotta say we're re- we're only halfway through two towers on a rewatch i don't uh-huh. like legolas all right he doesn't have a lot of personality i will say he i feel like he's just there no for wonder the pretty frodo face. forgot his name like i barely remember Gimli- his name <laughs> The only yeah. reason the only reason I remember his name is because it's got the word Lego in it. Gimli has a lot more personality than Legolas, but Gimli's also played for laughs, which I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate it either because so far it's making dwarves out to be like comedy. That's always how it is. That said, oh when he God. gets up on that table in the first in in Fellowship, and the the orcs or whatever are coming in, that was cool. That was he's hot. like, it's fight time, and everyone's getting their position. He gets up on a table. I felt that because I love to get up on stuff. I felt that for him. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, thanks, everyone, for listening. You can check us out on savestogether.club, where you can find links to our favorite media. What do we say? You're the one who says this part. You say it. You can check us out at savestogether.com, where you can find our episodes, our list of our required games that you must play to love us. And Wait, we don't have that. <laughs> I know. We, but we did... Li- listen, listen. We have a list of recommended games. That's That was my bit. And we're going to expand that someday soon. Someday soon. I want it to be more... because. Okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, peace out, Girl Scouts. Let's let's leave them with one more clip from one no! of our favorite episodes. Why Go ahead, I, roll me a die. I feel like I'm in purgatory and I can't escape. But this will be the last one. So after this, you know, the, the episode's over. Okay, 51. Could we do any that are under 50? Jesus. Okay, well, I'll make a 50-sided die then. My God. 27. Ooh, I love 27. Wait, wait, wait. Before you even look, can you just make a guess? 27. I'm going to say... I don't like guessing. Lego... No, 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 no. I'm going to say... Magicka 2. Hey. Guess what about Magicka 2, actually? We're playing a game made by the Magicka people. Ooh, a little <laughs> And teaser. maybe that would be a little episode coming maybe. up. Maybe. Anyways, Ooh, let's wink, go wink. home. Let's take it to the clip, and then everyone's free. And then the class is over. Ooh, should we start ending the episode with a bell, like class? I always loved when the bell rang. Yes, dude. I... <laughs> But that makes this more like school, and this isn't school. This is hanging out with your. This is the treehouse after school, bro. That's true. What was, I guess it's the dinner bell. It's it's mom going, come down for dinner. You know. Yeah. Okay. Can you start the clip? Okay. Let. I'm burning. Stop. That's what that game was like. And it's your fault. <laughs> and it's your. And fault it's your fault that, that I'm burning. You burned me. Well, Fuck you shouldn't you. have walked in my way. That's well, part of the comedy of this game. Where's the enemies? Where are the enemies? You're I thought you were a bad guy. That probably didn't happen. No, I didn't think you were a bad guy, but I can't see anything that's going on, so I will just be firing in all directions. We should maybe go back to Magicka. Yeah, Something... after the other game we are playing, maybe we should try it and see, like, where were the roots of this bullshit? I think Helldivers... <gasps> Sorry, this is back... 
spoiler alert. No, we're this was, no, this Helldivers. is part of the episode. Oh wow! I think they should do a Hell Divers two where I it's think third one person day. and the shooting is really fun and the friendly fire makes more sense because it's in a three D space. That's Man, what I would that's do. That's a great in idea. The you should write into them and tell them to do that, and then they'll because give this you is money for their idea. Twenty eighteen. Yeah. When I'm saying this, you're saying this in five years ago. All right. <laughs> Clips over. We can go home. Dinner. It's dinner time. We gotta. Yeah. <laughs> See you.